Just to nod your head when you hit. Hi everybody, it's Dr. Mike Nippico from JR's Whole Vet and Probably.com. This is Cleo. She is an older indoor domestic short hair cat. She has um, last saw me in the summer where she weighed a, a whopping almost almost what 12 or 14 pounds. Yeah, 14 pounds. She's now lost a significant, almost half her body weight. She's also turning jaundice, so jaundice is yellow. So if you see her ear, can you see how yellow it is? So that means that probably she's got a liver impairment or liver infection or liver disease. Um, she is not the happiest cat, so we're not gonna hospitalize her. We're gonna try to send her home with medical therapy. So one of the things she's going home with is a fluid kit. We sell fluid kits here for about $25. You can, I think you can, I heard you can buy them at like Costco. I don't know where they come to get them from Costco. Um, but you can typically pick them up at a pharmacy with a prescription or from your veterinarian. So we're gonna send her home with a fluid kit. So the first thing to do is take the bag out of the big giant plastic bag it comes out of. I took the end of the, the bag, the cap off. This is the fluid line. Um, so the line just opens up. There's a cap on here, take that off. And then you're just gonna pierce the bag with the IV line. So it'll go in all the way in seat. And then the next thing to do just put your line in the sink and get the air out of that line. So we're gonna fill this line. When it starts to come out the end, that's when you know you got the line, you got the air out of it. So gravity does all your work. So that's what we're gonna do. So now we've got the air out of the line. Um, we use an 18 gauge needle. 18 gauge needles are much easier to push fluid through. So grab yourself an 18 gauge needle. For here it's the green. That's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> so we'll get a new needle. So just take the end cap off and then it gets screwed onto the end. These are all lower lock, so they'll lock on. So it just twists on. Okay, I'm gonna have mom hold the bag. Can you turn your, you can turn it off. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're gonna give her sub-Q fluids. So she's all wrapped up. So the secret is you make a tent on the skin. I'm gonna uncap. Um, you're gonna make a tent in the skin. So there's her skin and you just go straight in and that's it. Once it's in, it should stay in. Now you're gonna hold that bag up because gravity does all the work. She's gonna get about 100 mLs. So these lines are 100. So when the fluid line gets to 100, that's, what, that's all she's gonna get. So we're gonna open up the line. It should be dripping. She should feel it because it's cold fluid. So you'll see that she's paying attention, but there's not fluid leaking around. Mm -hmm. I know, sweetheart, I know, I know. So, so here the one. yep, yep, so I'm just gonna have you squeeze the bag and the higher you hold it, the faster it will run. People always wanna use a smaller gauge needle because they think it's gonna hurt less, but really it's about impossible to push fluids through a really small mm -hmm. needle. So I always say use an 18 gauge and then she's gonna get about 100 mLs every 24 hours. The size of her pocket, so the fluid pocket that it makes under the skin is a good way for you to determine whether she needs it more rapidly. Some cats will absorb it rather quickly, so sometimes they need it less than 24 hours. Typically 24 hours is the time frame. Some cats won't absorb it for two days, so if she's still got a big pocket of fluids, we'll do it like every two days. The other thing that's really important to keep in mind is that we are putting 100 mLs of fluid on her back and she's lost a significant body, you know, body weight and body mass. So she's lost her ability, her muscle size too. So for some of these cats, even putting 100 on is like putting, you know, a 50 pound backpack on a human being. And for some cats, especially the cats are in end stage kidney disease, it's almost too much than they can handle. So start with a good number, like 100 mLs, see how she does. She still needs to be able to get up, walk, go to her litter box, go to the food bowl, and she still needs to have some quality of life. So it is gonna help her, um, it, it'll help her kidney, it'll help her liver kind of diarrhea. So when people go on dialysis for kidney disease or liver disease, this is sort of our at-home version of it. Um, but you also need to make sure that they are, it's not so much fluid that they can't get up and walk around. So her world is gonna get really small because she's Jonas and because her mom wants to do at-home care, she's gonna get her fluids, she's gonna be given prednisone to help the inflammation in her liver, we're gonna give her an appetite stimulant and we're gonna give her an antibiotic and we'll see if that's enough to help kind of help her liver feel better. If you have any questions, you can find me anytime at jarsvillevet or polly.com and if you guys could wish her a little bit of luck, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Take care, bye.